going to be another good one, dudes. We've got in the plans for today the Fortnite Duo World Cup competition where people are going to walk away with millions of dollars. But more importantly, we've got a lot of FIFA news going on. we got FIFA Ultimate Team 20 news that I'm going to cover today in terms of the new one to watches. We've got uh, potentially the 6 p.m. content drop being Paul Pogba. I can't imagine it won't be. It'll be anybody else. Again, the World Cup Duels event, more Fortnite. Um, I'm not sure if Nep's going to play Fortnite or not. I, I, I think he's been playing FIFA on stream, so I don't. Maybe he's just sticking with FIFA. But I'll be grinding out random duos, and then maybe I'm kind of missing some GTA. So maybe some late night GTA as well. If uh, that ponytail puta is uh, is down to play some games in his way back. So first things first, let's actually get right into that. If I have my um my settings set up properly we should be setting set up properly is that even english um here we go so uh ea sports there it is they tweeted out i think a listing there we go of the four official one to watch is so far today so we got that eden hazard which looks absolutely stunning um in my eyes anyways i, I you guys watched the atletico madrid real madrid game yesterday though is Hazard getting Hazard will get a lot of informs, undoubtedly. It is a preseason game, but my god, did they get absolutely pulverized by Atletico yesterday? I think they ended up making it 7-3, right? Um, at the end of it. But anyway, so we've got Eden Hazard as one of the official one to watches. We've got Thorgan Hazard, of course, his brother, as one of the one to watches. Um, we've got jo Joao Felix, I think. Um, who played incredibly well. Uh, I believe started out at right mid yesterday in the game for Atletico, and then Morata, I believe, got injured. So then Felix went up front, had a great, great game. Um, so I think this is going to be another really, really exciting card for FOT20 in terms of uh, informs and getting boosted, and then Jovic as well. So those are the four players, and for me specifically, it got me thinking again about FIFA 20. Now, um, you can see on FIFA 19, we are kind of yesterday talking about, I don't know if it included... We put them in the stream highlights or not. I, I, I can't remember. But we started talking about and working towards and building towards uh, a squad that I would love to like start piecing together for the launch of FIFA 20, right? The two players I absolutely want for FIFA 20 from the very beginning are the best version I can get in the moment of Ruud Hullet and Ronaldinho. Then the rest from there, we'll start piecing it together after weekend leagues and spending probably a dumb amount of money on FIFA points, um, testing out players, seeing what the new meta is and all of that. And then we'll have our dream team for FUT champs while we do player reviews and squad builders throughout the week and, and whatever with division rivals, or hopefully they bring back like uh, either tournament mode for FIFA 20 ultimate team, or even better, a weekly objective section where you can go in and do the weekly objectives against other people trying to do the weekly objectives instead of trying to do it in the boring ass online single matches where it's impossible to even find anyone number one or get a clean, con clean connection or you come up against someone that's pub stomping just with a god team and doesn't care that you're using like a goalkeeper squad so um in the build-up and just the, the the conversations about fifa 20 it got me thinking of another really cool thing that i want to do uh for the launch of the year is pick up like as many of the one to watch as early days uh as we can that i think are going to be fun cards to use or that have the potential to be meta cards. So of course, Eden Hazard, start of the game, we'll probably get ourselves a fresh Eden Hazard. Um, and then players like Thorgan Hazard, we're gonna have a little bit of, I guess, a analysis on the card itself to see whether or not we want that card, right? So if Thorgan Hazard has like, let's say for some reason, five-star skills and a four-star weak foot, we're gonna pick him up. Why not, right? Because even though, let's say he might start out as an 83 or 84 rated player, not that impressive, with a couple of informs, him being an 87 or an 88, he might break into part of the meta, or a player that we'd want to use for like a full Bundesliga squad builder for a weekend league run or something like that, right? And then same thing along the lines of Jao Felix. Let's say he starts out as an 81 rated one to watch. If he's got that four star, four star setup and obviously being at the Atletico and he's going to be used a lot and stuff, he could potentially build up to being a great card. So that'll be someone else early days that we pick up um, and test out with every, you know, one to watch or inform release. And then exactly the same thing as well for Jovic. I'm hoping and, and I would assume that they'll still give him that five-star weak foot and whatnot. So I think these types of cards are going to be absolutely great. Cards like, wh what else are we thinking really uh, from these sneak peeks? I think the 31st of July, we get like a FIFA uh, Ultimate Team 20. Is it a press release, did they say? Hold on, they, uh, it was right here, right? The first FUT21 to watch is confirmed. 
The FUT20 features will be revealed the 31st of July. So we'll do like a full deep dive of the um, uh, of the FUT20 features come the 31st, which is also, of course, the end of the month subscriber giveaway party on stream. So it'll be a really, really good time. And here's hoping we get some sort of news like that. All new game modes, all new search parameters, a new and improved gameplay with better server connections, increased server locations, increased server, all of that stuff, right? I'm hoping... The 31st of July is a very, very exciting time for all of us that are very obsessed and um, uh, in love with the Ultimate Team franchise. I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be a good time. And then maybe we get to see even more one to watches, right? One to watch Jolatin if you want to. One to watch uh, Juan Visaka. Like, it's... It's going to be sick. So let's just get started into the day. Uh, we're, what, half an hour away from the 6 p.m. content drop. And then and then we've got the, the World Cup stuff going on. It's it's going to be good, dude. So let's get into it. Going forward, I wonder if we should start including just overall football news and transfer coverage. I do it on stream, but we do it kind of sporadically. I wonder if at the start of the day, if we have like a, a section, if you will, of the stream, which then, of course, will make the YouTube stream highlights and whatnot. But of like football news so what i wanted to talk about is like is the nicholas pepe deal with arsenal is that is that a done is that a done deal Let, let's check and what would we then say would be the website to check for like official news is sky sports um gonna be the best option uh for for those types of news what what would you guys say just st straight up sky uh football news Okay, so I mean, and we can do like a bit of a, a of a live review of any of the news that pops up, right? So this is what I was talking about. Arsenal agree a 72 million pound fee for Pepe. Confident of signing Nicolas Pepe from Lille um, after agreeing a 72 million fee for the winger, according to Sky Italy. Which is interesting as well, because I saw, can we click into this? Um, Pepe, all you need to know. It's in installments too, isn't it? So BBC Sports even better. What would you guys choose? Yeah, it's not done, but I, I did see that it's it's progressing very, very well, isn't it? Manchester United were linked with Pepe, but Gunners have now moved ahead of Napoli as well in the race for the 24-year-old. Dude, what a signing that would be, man. What a signing that would be. Impressing in France's lower leagues, uh, on loan at Orleans. Um, so helped Angers reach the French Cup. Lille boss Marcelo Bielsa sacked in December 2017, club fighting relegation, but despite the team's struggles that season, Pepe made an instant impact. Oh, I wonder why, because Bielsa trusted in him, dude. He trusted in the young guns. Um, Pacey left-footed winger proved he also has plenty of end products scoring last season 22 times. Yeah, I think that would be a huge coup for arsenal honestly man having a dynamic uh winger like that and signing someone like that like that's got to be for arsenal and I, and I don't i don't follow arsenal too too much so correct me if i'm wrong arsenal fans but that's got to be high up on the list if not the absolute top of the list for you guys in terms of big money signings however aren't you guys very much like a rolls royce up front or a porsche turbo up front with like a a 1980s fiat panda at the back is like you don't you have two center backs that don't even want to be there because shelney basically wanted to force a move and he's still there and then the other pleb mustafi or whatever i'm pretty sure he doesn't want to be there either so again i'm not just taking the opportunity to take shots at arsenal i'm a Leeds fan so you guys can take all the shots you want at me but yes this should be very very exciting but isn't that part of the concern as well is that you guys have a very much like Leeds, genuinely. We've got a very shaky backline with absolutely no depth defensively, especially now since Pontus Janssen is gone. Is it? So Arsenal, you guys are dealing with that too. Okay, so news of the day is obviously the whole Pepe deal. Is there anything else that came on during the day? I do see this like potential of a swap with Dybala and Pogba. Uh, Pogba. Dybala and Lukaku. Or potentially Dybala, Pogba as well. I've been seeing a bit of that too. Um... Let's see, latest. City finished preseason with win. Juve offered Dybala and Lukaku swap deal. So there it is. Um, that's a bit interesting. I don't know how much legs that actually has. Uh, let's click this and see if this is. Inter Milan facing serious competition. Serie A rivals and chase to sign Lukaku. Okay. Uh, that's an interesting one, man. And I always want, like, with, with Dybala, I always want He seems like such a baller. But considering he's he's been for such a long time on the fringes of Juventus and very much, well, because of Messi, apparently, 
because him and Messi, the coaches say, are very similar, so you can't have both of them on the field, which, what do I know? That seems a bit silly. Anyways, Dybala seems like he's very much on the fringes of Argentina and the fringes of Juventus. Like, is that a, a good move for Man United fans? I don't know. Dybala, yeah. Um, anyways, that, so that's an interesting one. I kind of find that also weird even for Juventus too. Yeah, maybe they just want a big uh, a big dog finisher. Mandzukic not the guy to do that? I, I don't know. So I find that one interesting. And then Bale, I saw a lot of content creators and a lot of my viewers as well going ham. We talked about this a little bit yesterday as well while I was playing Fortnite, of course. So however many of you guys were still here to, to, to hear me talk about that. But I'm shocked at how many people are like absolutely hating on Gareth Bale if this were to happen. Like, why? What? And maybe it's a little bit silly to put yourself in his shoes, but think of it this way. For all of you guys saying, oh, screw Bale, he should go to a top team and he's a scumbag for going for the money and whatever, he's rich enough as it is. First of all, if you were in his position, you would do the same thing. I'm sorry, you're just living in denial if you don't think you, would be, you wouldn't be entertaining something like this. A million dollars a week at the tail end of his career? Why wouldn't he go there? Why wouldn't he do that? First of all. Second of all, though, he's done it all. It's not like he went to Real and they bottled it. He won, what is he, on four Champions League titles? He's got a La Liga title. A Copa de, he single-handedly carried Real to a Copa del Rey title. That amazing run and goal he scored against Barcelona in the Copa del Rey years ago. That, that bicycle kick where he basically handed Real Madrid a Champions League title. That bicycle kick at the end of the game. Was that last... Oh, well, it wasn't last year. Was it that the year before? I think that was the year before, right? He's done it all. It's the tail end of his career. And even more so is he's very injury prone. Over the last couple of years, his production has come down. He's had a lot of injury issues on and off the field and stuff like that. Why wouldn't he go? Wait. Why would he not go? Again, it's not like he's the Gareth Bale at Spurs. Where Real are chasing him and are offering him four... It's not like... If this was all happening and that is him in a Spurs shirt with his short hair before he had that big bald spot on the back of his head. And Real were chasing him and willing to pay him £400,000 a week. And he's about to join Ronaldo and do all the things that he could potentially have done, which he already has done. But then he goes to China for a million. At that point, I'd be like, all right. I get it. Like, that's a little bit idiotic. Like, you could go, you're could go. going from Spurs at such a young age with so much potential to Real to win everything, and you're going off to China to chase a little bit more money. Then I would be like, okay, I understand where, like, my community, a lot of content creators, a lot of viewers of mine are hating on him for. But right now, um, you know, I think it's the right play. And maybe I'm not looking at it from where a lot of you guys are looking at it, but I just wanted to talk about this because I find it, I don't know, I just find people get really lost in this deluded mindset um of these players needing to like abide by certain moral standards as if it's morally wrong to secure the bag for your family like again people saying he's just greedy dude if i had that opportunity i would do it of course i would i got kids i got a wife like things he's gonna live another like 60 years beyond football of course you want to you want you want to secure the bag um anyways We'll leave it at that. I just saw that that news tidbit, so thought we would cover it. Um, and then in terms of other... Ooh, let's do that. Okay. I like this, man. This is kind of... Well, this is making me even more excited for FIFA 20 and just for the start of the, the season. I did see that. Wolf signed Vallejo on a season-long loan. I think that's a great signing. Um, Bournemouth agree fee for billing. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know much about him, so I can't really comment on that. I saw that, though. This is interesting. Kutron, dude, Wolves are... Haven't been in much lately, but always jumping back into sub football. So short career, get that money, Bale. You've nothing to prove. Bang. There you go, Corso. Thank you for the 15. Couldn't have said it better myself. The Dominist, uh, the Domainist, thank you for the 12. Uh, Luke Chells, thank you for the 6. Kieran, thank you, man. Appreciate you guys. Um, This is interesting. Dude, with the season that Wolves had, I was like, bro, they're not going to be able to top what they've done. But if this, if this ends up being a thing... What a great, great, great setup this is going to be, man. More like Dire Wolves now. Bro, they're... Wolves is going to be an exciting team to watch this year, man. Or at least I hope so. Um, Cutrone, and then they've got that uh, the Mexican wonder kid. Uh, Jimenez, right? Raul Jimenez? Dude, fantastic. Fantastic. I, I'm, I'm so excited for the Premier League this year, man. Anyways, yeah, I saw that earlier this morning. I was like, dude, if that happens, that's awesome. 
Vermolin joins Vissel Kobe. Lol. That's hilarious. Uh, Watford hopeful over Sar. That could be a good signing. Almost one year. You're doing a great job for this community. Keep going, man. We deserve a great FIFA game. Wow, 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 wow. Elvis, thank you for the 11. Appreciate the message, dude. Wow, wow, wow. Where would you guys like to see Savage going, man? I saw there. Oh, well, there you go. Right in the title. Uh, I saw a few rumors about him joining United, especially if Pogba is going to be leaving. What a player, man. What a player. Another player I like a lot going to fucking potentially going to Man U, dude. And you need to piss off with signing all the all the boys, you know? Talk about Rodrigo and Bruno Fernandez. Well, Bruno Fernandez doesn't really have a lot of rumors of where he's going to, does he? Arsenal would be a sick one, dude. Arsenal. See, for some reason, I, Chelsea are transfer banned anyways, right? But I, I would see... Or imagine him running the midfield for Spurs, Chelsea, or... Yeah, I don't know. I think a Spurs or Chelsea, I'd think more of like a, a cooler move. I don't know. Arsenal already have Torreira too, so I not completely similar players, but Spurs don't need him to. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Delhi wasn't really that much of a of a ting last year, you know? Yeah, Savage hopefully he just turns it turns it around as well. He's got a lot of high valuation. Was it it wasn't just last year he wasn't amaz amazing too. Fernandez is also rumored to go to United, bro. This is like it's almost too hard to keep up with, isn't it? Um, Trippier reveals Spurs unrest behind the scenes issues cause him to leave. Ooh, spicy. Costa scores four. Yeah, this is what we we're talking about the uh, the Real Atleti game. Uh, Sterling, I was happy for Liverpool. That's cool to see. How can you not love Raheem Sterling, man? Real confident Pogba will sign. Okay, so this is also another one, too. The Pogba rumors, man. They are flowing. I thought for sure he'd already be gone, though. With, like, you guys saw that interview where he was um, basically saying he wants, like, a new challenge and whatnot. I thought for sure Pogba was going to go. I'd kind of like to see Paul Pogba in a Barcelona shirt. Although, I think Barca don't need Pogba anymore with, the, with Frankie de Jong and all these signings that they have, but... Pogba at, at, at Bar... I just feel like Pogba's more of a Barca-style player as opposed to a Real-style style player, but what do I know? Um, wait, I'm on... Why the fuck are we looking at the dog shit sun shithole newspaper set up? I thought we're on Sky Sports, dude. Get the fuck out of my face, sun. Scum newspaper set up. Um, Rafa was money-motivated, Ashley. Yeah, okay, Ashley. Suck your mom, dude. Um, I feel bad for Newcastle fans. Imagine, I know Leeds have been stuck in, you know, in the lower leagues for the last 47,000 years, but imagine having to deal with the stress of being a Newcastle fan where one minute you have Rafa Benitez as your coach and you're rumored to be taken over by some billionaire oil shake, right? Where you're thinking, oh my God, we're going to get an Mbappe and then... You know, and players like that. And then a week later, you've got Steve Bruce, who's not the worst manager in the world, but Steve Bruce, and you're going to be signing just plebs. Tough. Absolutely tough, man. Um, Juventus are giving a Ferrari for a truck, basically. Such a bad move for Juventus. It just depends on what they need, though, right? The 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 the, the Dybala Lukaku swap deal. I, I just wish Lukaku could go back to his Everton days or his early uh, Chelsea form, if you will. Bro, he was lights out, man, back then. Lights out, man. They signed Jol Jolton. And then, then that's another funny thing, too. It's like all it seemed like Rafa wanted was a couple of big signings to help improve so he could keep working on the team. The second he leaves, they sign they did like do a club record signing of Jolton or whatever. Bro, what so weird. I don't know. Interesting. Interesting. So this is put like an interpotential, right? Dude, what the heck is even going on? absolutely absolutely nutty man there's just there's so much is that good for coverage for the day though dudes zaha is another interesting thing too if everton picks up zaha man i don't think arsenal need to be arsenal how many like high-end attackers do you guys want man are you what what's the deal there tyranny isn't there's no legs on the tyranny deal yet is there transfer talk what psg want for neymar Ooh, i just want to check this out too 
So I'm kind of curious as to how this hasn't really happened. Neymar is at the top of the agenda, uh, which Barcelona player pains will be willing to take in a player cash deal. Oh yeah, I know we talked about this a little bit. I don't know whether it's been covered in a stream highlight or not, but didn't uh, I don't know what truth there is to this, but didn't Barcelona approach PSG and said, hey, for money and uh, and Neymar, or for Neymar, we'll give you money and three of your four choices of like Dembele, Rakitic, uh, it might have also been Umtiti and one other player. Was there any truth to that, that rumor? Coutinho, Dembele, Rakitic, and Umtiti? It wasn't true. Uh, but close, it was two players of the six. Could, I mean, dude, it's crazy. I, I would love to see Neymar back at Barca too. Selfishly, because I want a one to watch Neymar that I can have next year for the, for the entirety of the year. Uh, but also just to get even more high-end players back in La Liga. So, I mean, I tend to try and catch as much Barcelona and Real Madrid games a year as I can. And having a Hazard at Real and a Neymar back at Barca. Oh my God. So exciting. Griezmann, Neymar, Messi, Suarez. Like, it, that's just not even fair, bro. That's like an ultimate team squad, you know? That's a team you load up against in FUT and you're like, bro, really? <laughs> Do you have to have all of that? Can I have it? How is my Chris Smalling going to deal with this, dude? I don't get the hate Neymar gets. Oh, I do. Very much so. I mean, just search some clips up of Neymar flopping around on the field. Like, he's amazing. But his play acting is absolutely idiotic. It's very similar to like, dude, hey, when, when Pepe was at Real, he was a psychomaniac. Amazing footballer, but still denying the fact that he wasn't a relatively scummy psychomaniac is ridiculous. It's very similar to Sergio Busquets. Sergio Busquets is one of the biggest talents that Barca might ever see over the last 10 year period. His footballing IQ, his abilities for his role are so underappreciated by the overall footballing world. However, that doesn't take away from the fact that Sergio Busquets is as well a play acting scumbag. Like, you can't deny it. You can't deny that stuff. And when someone says, oh, I don't understand why Busquets gets criticized for his... What? Well, no, he's a play acting moron. So is Pepe. So is Sergio Ramos. So is, so is Neymar, you know? Um, Busquets is the best DM in, uh, in the world, in my opinion. Uh, he's, dude, he's insane. Absolutely insane. <clears throat> It's going to be a crazy transfer window. Hell yeah, man. I, I, I don't know if or when this Neymar thing's going to happen, but it seems inevitable too, right? With all the interviews, which is why it seems like it's inevitable with Pogba too. All the interviews, like Neymar saying he wants to leave or wants to go back to Barca. Pogba saying he needs a new challenge. Like, it seems like these deals are going to happen. I'm just really excited to see where and how. Pogba one to watch? We're going to have on the Rich Man RTG. Neymar one to watch? We're going to have. Uh, Hazard one to watch? We're going to have, man. Um, I like it. This whole section also rolls in perfectly to uh, the 6 p.m. content drop too. So it's going to be a very football slash FIFA heavy um, epi today too. Or I guess stream slash YouTube section today. Hell yeah, man. All right. And I think we covered all the highlights. I I'm excited to do this. We'll try. You guys remind me. We'll try and cover if there's any like main um football news or anything like that that happens every day we'll try and cover it uh at the start of the day before we do anything and then now yeah we've got the 6 p.m content drop then we've got the world cup duos uh starting up as well crazy man absolutely there's so much going on i'm so excited um sane's in talks with Bayern. interesting interesting that pogba is expensive oh is he out yet is it oh Oh, well, you guys spoiled it for me already. So our content drop is a... Well, it, it, did you really spoil it? Of course it's going to be Paul Pogba. I don't want to do that one. Of course it's going to be Paul Pogba. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. So, of course, we know those stats. Wow, dude. Well, that is crazy. That is crazy. Well, if, if if a prime Hullet ever needed competition, this 95 Fuddies Paul Pogba is definitely going to give him competition. But I would assume that this, uh, this Fuddies Pogba is still going to be for the rich. Wait, seven? No, hold on. Yeah, I was, you know, you know how we always say like Milinkovic Savic is basically the poor man's Hullet in, in, in a lot of ways. This is basically just the rich man's replacement for Rude Hullet, if you will. Um, that's very interesting. 
Very, 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 very interesting. Okay. Wait, what? No, you guys are bullshitting. You guys are bullshitting. You guys are bullshitting. You guys are bullshitting. Oh my god! Pirlo as an icon! Yo! Okay. Okay! Okay, EA! Okay! Okay, you're doing it. You're doing it. You get- Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. So we have one to watch Hazard as confirmation as we expected for FUT20. We've got an Icon Pirlo confirmed now for FUT20 as well. Are you kidding me, dude? Oh my god. Yeah, he's going to have about 17 pace, but who cares, man? He's going to have 99 dribbling, 99 composure, 99 passing, 99 beard, 99 sexiness. Oh my god. You know what, man? Andrea Pirlo might be our cam to start the year next year. Just our maestro. He'll just... Oh my god, I'm so excited. He'll take all our pens. He'll be unusable AF. Honestly, man, I disagree. And we don't even we don't even know what the, what the game is gonna play like next year. Someone like Pirlo could be very usable next year if they learn to tone down the Why damn game. Why am I excited for FIFA 20? Because of this stuff, dude. Because we're all football fans and we're all Ultimate Team fans. This is huge, man. Oh my god, I'm really excited. I'm genuinely very very excited about that. That's so awesome, bro. Yeah, Andrea Pirlo could be our could be our camp. The icon cards look nice. Yeah. So I guess the setup is... Wait, is that... Do you think that's the added part? Do you see that, chat? Do you guys see that? I guess that's new. That's probably the moments version, right? That's his World Cup uh, picture, I believe, isn't it? Zidane 2. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm excited. I'm, I don't care. Yes, gameplay could be the be-all, end-all failure of FIFA 20 as well, but it doesn't mean I'm not excited, dude. But we're gonna hop in with Tim oh, Tim's still alive. Nice. Wild card is active. Right oh, wild here, card. Right That's now. so good. Everybody's oh, got shit. No oh, God. To work with. 57 really isn't that much. Oh, he doesn't have a lot of mats. Oh, he's getting we're focused by everybody. He was the prime target there. Now take a look at Wade here. He's got the high ground. He's got the foot knock to save himself as well. In a combat. It's a lovely 70 shot right there. And this is where the lobby begins to condense and collapse. <laughs> I know that himself. feels, Tim. I know that feels, dude. You watch FIFA esports like this? Are you interested in that as you are in this? Um, I am, but I just know how terrible the What's gameplay up, is in FIFA. I'm enjoying this Fortnite World Cup even though I don't play. It's being run so well. I wonder are the Chiefs in EA watching and taking notes? You'd hope so, brother. You'd really hope so. Um, yeah, so in terms of the FIFA esports, I, I think the FIFA events are put on well. I mean, I know most of the guys that host the events and stuff like that. I've got nothing against any of them. I respect a lot of them. Um, you know, and, uh, and yeah, I would consider them proper good acquaintances, if not friends as well. Uh, but... The difference is, is while watching this game, you can enjoy the gameplay for what it is. Um, whereas the eSport events that I've watched for FIFA 19, it is so infuriating watching anything but football. Anything but the sport of soccer. It's so infuriating just watching La Croqueta, La Croqueta, La Croqueta, La Croqueta, El Tornado, flick cross goal, downward header goal, kickoff goal, kickoff goal, kickoff goal, La Croqueta, La Croqueta, kickoff, La Croqueta, La Croqueta, goal. It's just... And then, then having to listen to the announcer saying, oh, what a goal! When the guy just flicks the ball up from the 18 and the the, goal, the goalkeeper falls over as it gets volleyed into the net. Ugh. I just the whole thing to me, I can't. I Because I and all of you guys know how just terrible the gameplay is and how badly coded it is, it just, it's even grosser watching just people freak out about these terribly broken goals. Abusing mechanic goals. It just, I can't do it. So that's why I'm so excited for FIFA 20 because I want it to be a good game so I can sit there and enjoy watching the events too because they're, they're I think EA, the, the prize money is a sham. It's a disaster. The pros deserve more for sure. But the events, the way they put them together, the presentation, it's, I, I actually think it's good. Yeah, they, they need a lot of changes and fixes, but 
Um, I do think it's good. But that's the difference, is the gameplay is so fucking awful, I can't really stomach... Well, I'll watch! Next week I'll watch, for sure, but we'll see. We'll watch it together. Can you tell your girlfriend to shut the fuck up, please? I don't want to listen to about her dick conversations. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah. Tell your weird ass boyfriend or girlfriend to shut up about their dick, man. What the fuck? What the fuck me? What the fuck you? The fuck are you listening to? What are you listening to, man? What's wrong with people today, dude? What are people listening to, man? What is this? That's outrageous. No? I'm not entirely sure. Was that you? Did they throw splashes at us? Did you splash? That wasn't you? No, that wasn't me. Splash? They, they threw a splash. Them. I swear to oh, God. They can't throw that. Yeah, they did. Oh, Look. Tree. They're throwing splashes at us. <laughs> I just got 20 HP. What the hell? That's a stream sniper for sure. And they're L dancing on me now. What the fuck? I keep trying to build block when I have no mats! That guy has been white. I hit him for 55 white as well. Okay, we've got a guy pushing us. Six hours. I'm ready to stay here all night. Uh, hey, I'm down, I'm down to stay here all night. Our game that we all love has so much to go to get anywhere near this. It makes me sad. Different games and genres. Imagine there's this chat. To me, though, it will never feel the exact you understand how hyped I would be if there were this many people naturally excited for what's going on in FIFA Ultimate Team or in FIFA in, gen in general? Do you understand? This is a made up, out of nowhere game, a battle royale game. Yet, the sport that we love, the world sport that billions of people watch for the World Cup, etc is being squandered by EA so majestically bad, it's mind-blowing, in fact, that an audience of billions couldn't give a flying fuck about FIFA, but a made-up, out-of-nowhere game gets this le this level of fucking audience. I think being a pro in Fortnite is harder than being a pro in FIFA. Um, being a pro in Fortnite and being... Fortnite, but I'm so crap. Any advice? Being a pro in Fortnite and being good in Fortnite and making it and winning a tournament in Fortnite like this is much more impressive than winning in FIFA. Let me tell you why, though. The problem with FIFA is a big part of it is very pay to win. So you are never going to know the best players on planet Earth in FIFA because there's a very big, very big monetary blockade that a lot of people just can't afford to do. And you can see some of the pro players to get to these events had to play with like base level players where some of the best players in the world that are also supported by teams get the funding to get the best possible team. That is very similar to making it as a pro player, as a soccer player is way more impressive to me. And this is coming as a Canadian, way more impressive than becoming a pro player in hockey. Because in hockey, again, you need a relatively wealthy family to be able to pay for all of your hockey pads, all everything, your, your, your league engagements, all of that stuff is thousands of dollars a year. So it's like a rich man's or a wealthy middle income family sport to get professional in, whereas soccer 
any player on planet Earth can go kick a ball. And I feel like Fortnite and FIFA is a very similar concept, right? Armalika, you can clip that and put it in the stream highlights. Like, it's not shots at FIFA players, not shots at hockey players, but that's just the truth. FIFA is a very pay to win in a lot of ways, which blocks out a lot of the best players ever um, from even being able to participate. Whereas Fortnite has anybody can get in. The structure of it is way more fair and you you end up see me, seeing the cream rising to the top, the best of the best. I'm glad to see most of the chat relates to what I'm saying there. Chat, we're all old, man. These fucking 14 year olds and 15 year olds are just chilling. Playing for $3 million and playing for $3 million and man's laying like this, dude. Playing. That's no big deal. Just 3 million bucks. I'm good. Bro, I'd be like, dude, we're dying! Gonna be out of this one. Mac winning calculator still owning the high ground on the mid down below. Dubs and Mega, one of the premier. We're getting shot at ah! Now let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, and send wow. this out of here. Wow, they're cheering so hard. Holy shit. I think I saw, I could have sworn I saw Funk there, but no, I think it was, uh, that was Elevate. Apologies. I was Elevate that did get that. Yeah, I'll be I'll be rooting for Turner tomorrow too. Moving on now, taking a look at the other side of Why is he hated so much, chat? Stompy and Shinkin still in the game. Mongrel and Nico. He cheated? Why did he cheat? Wait, why is he there if he cheated? All of these duos, very very powerhouse duos here. Close by right now. How is he a cheater? Cheater. Two week ban for getting his friends to give him easy kills. Wait, what? Is that Right. How is he at the tournament then? Dude, he should be. If that's actually real, he should have been permanently banned. What the hell? He got banned, but then qualified legit. Ah. He qualified again? Okay, so that's a different part of the story. It's not like he cheated to qualify, they banned him, but then they still let him in. He re qualified legit? I mean, that's still scummy that he tried to do that, but. I kind of, I kind of give, uh, when you guys fixed that and, and told me the specifics, if you guys didn't mention to me that he re-qualified fair, um, see, ASR, too many people want everybody to fail always. Okay, he cheated, scumbag move, terrible, and it's fair that people boo him and stuff like that and want him to lose, but I actually commend Epic for giving him a second chance. Because you know what? He's a kid. What is he, like 15? You know what? He just, he, terrible decision, but with Epic giving him a chance, it gives him the ability to be a better person and to learn. Not saying that he made a mistake and that's 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 something that shouldn't be punished. He he made a mistake and he was punished, and then he requalified fairly. Um. So I think far too often our the internet world and the chat is showing as well, um, and people just want everybody to be deleted and nobody to get a second chance. I mean, you can see the the the, the one mistaken issue I even made four years ago. People still to this day bring it up and hate my guts for it, even though they know it was a simple mistake. Was it a bad mistake? One hundred percent, definitely. But the way of the world is people want nobody to ever succeed ever mostly because they're not succeeding so i i really do actually give credit to epic for giving him a second chance and i'm not going to say that it, that isn't a scummy move by that kid for cheating no it is fuck but here's hoping he he learns from that and all this booing and stuff hopefully he learns from that thinking like fuck man i deserve all of this I understand that people hate that Zix, whatever, F kid or whatever, but I actually give credit to, um, to, to, to Epic for giving him a second chance. It gets old, the whole cancel culture shit. Yours wasn't intentional, his cheating was. See, but the thing is, big boy, whether it's an accident or intentional, people, we're humans, we fuck up. We fuck up. I know that it was an it was intentional, and... You don't know this, this, the, I'm not defending the guy. I'm just giving you the devil's advocate, the other side of the story. You don't know what's going through his mind, what's going on, the stresses, all of that stuff. He's 20 though. He, that's still a kid, dude. Like, he didn't murder someone. He's still a kid. Dude, your brain isn't even fully developed until you're like 30. Like, eh.
15 months. So that's all I'm saying, man, is that is that I just think that this world is so happy for people to fail and so quick to hate people's guts. So fast to hate people's guts, man. I think he was allowed back in too soon. So again, that argument, I don't disagree with heavily. There's an argument to be said there. Letting him back in in this immediate World Cup, maybe the punishment should have been, look, you fucked up, man. This is unacceptable. You're, you're banned for this tournament, but... For the next season that starts, we'll, we'll let you back in next season, next year, for, and then you can work towards it again. That That is an argument I would say. But all of you guys wanting him permanently banned like, and people never to get chances and stuff. I don't know, man. Sometimes you got to you gotta think about that stuff, chat. Yeah, I would agree with you there, Josh, for sure. A two-week ban is a little bit low. I, 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 I don't disagree with that. You guys are right about that. If you think he should have been banned until the end of the World Cup, I would agree with you there. But a permanent man, like yeah, there was a duo right on the other side. These are kids, man. Concerned about, so he goes low. Then really, wherever you go, they're going to be players looking right at you. Sometimes you just manage to incur the wrath of the entire server. And the only other thing I'm going to say, look at how many people are still in the end zone here. The only thing I'm going to say is to the people that want me to be gone forever. People that want that kid to be gone, people that want Nep to be gone for his mistake in the past. Those are people that up until this point have either not making a mistake in any way or have not been caught making a mistake. But the second some crazy shit happens to you, you instantly go back and think, well, fuck, man. I wish people were a little bit more welcoming. Like, you know, so there's levels to mistakes and shit that you do. And I understand that needs to be taken into account. But fucking hell, man. This whole world is just so happy to destroy everyone and watch the world burn. And then the community on the internet's like, why is the world such a bad place? Everything's terrible. Well, you're feeding the frenzy, aren't you? The results are in. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to the first ever Fortnite World Champions, Aqua and Naira! Unreal. GG. Unreal. What a performance, man. What a performance. Good for you guys, man. Be smart with your prize winnings, boys. Amazing. Amazing. So deserved. You know, talent, talent, abilities, performances, no real RNG, no El Tornado flicks, no deflected goals, no kickoff goals, no 90th minute cheese where the ball goes through the player. Just pure talent, dude. Pure fucking talent. Such deserved winners, man. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Fair play to them. Hey, nice. What did I get? Wow, what a shithole gift, dude. I'm not a tramp. Prove it. Carry me to 10 wins in a row. Okay. We're doing it in arenas or? Dude, I'm not good enough for arenas. If you just want to play with Tim, just say, hey, Nep, you're not good enough for me anymore because I'm too good, so I'll play with Tim. Dude, I'm playing with myself, all right? That's the only the only person I know is myself, and that's what I'm doing. You're busy league SBC in and, you know, living the dream. Is FIFA fun? Like, am I missing something? I'm so Dude. jealous. Dude, the level of teams in Foot Champs right now, huh? you'd be confused with week one in FIFA. It's brilliant. Are you joking, or? Mm -mm. How was that possible? Like, noobs? Yeah, just because people are shit. And and no people people that have any brain sense at all uh -huh. don't play this game anymore. I'm trash. I'm trash. I'm fat and trash. Thank God, K1 dead. Where the f I went to build when I have no mats. Wait, no, I have mats. Dude. That guy, he just sits in the middle there. Fucking L2 spam, L2 spam, L2 spam. And I just, well, like, what can you do, man? What can you do? When they're breaking brick before it even places, like, I place it, it breaks, I place it, it breaks, I place it, it breaks. What's the point of having mats? Yeah. I, oh, I'm so bad, dude. I'm so bad. <laughs> I was near the reboot van, I know. I just figured that out. Dude, I, yeah, I don't know how. What is it? Oh, I'm dead to the zone. I'm literally stuck in a tree. I'm stuck in a tree. It won't let me move out of the tree. <laughs> I'm stuck. I, dude, look, I, you can see what you screen. literally got stuck in the tree. That guy's gonna die to zone too. 
I tagged that guy down to 10 all oh, my days. Oh. Hello. Oh, in the boy night. What was? <gasps> what happened? That was my cousin. Hunter's Black Knight. Yeah, I know. He got the F extra hot. I know. Ask him how true his account. Why? Because we're trying to buy to just ask him. He can hear you. I, I can hear you, nerd. Can't be boy. Oh, he just called you a nerd. Does he, does, does he sound, does he sound uh, thick? Yeah. Yeah, I'm thicker than your mom, dude. Oh, he said he's thicker than your mom. Yeah, that's Where good. do you want to go? You tell me, brother. I like you, Hacks. I like you. Woo! Vamos a la playa! Tus madres es a puta! Gonna play this way. Pulse, pulse, pulse.